I'm kind of a big believer that like you don't tell your kids what to do you sort of show them what to do um, and if I was wanting to like pass on some of the things that my parents had passed on to me it was time to sort of become more so socially conscious I just sort of gave it a shot like sort of as a last resort and then when I was in hair school I just sort of fell in love with it and I think I had a knack for it and maybe a knack for people as well and just sort of went went with it it's kind of like having coffee with a different person every half an hour and as you build your clientele and get to know people it's like visiting an old friend literally like every half an hour you get to know people's stories and I like their stories and so I was working at a like big suburban salon and one of the guys that I was working with, his name's Mason, I'd started sort of um, bouncing ideas about doing something like this off of him. Mason's a real like like personality, he's, he's a small town Saskatchewan guy and all those values that he has are entrenched in him, like he's just a very like humble, personable guy. When I made the decision that I was going to do it, like one of the things that I had said to my, my partner Jane was, if Mason doesn't come, I'm not going to do it. So it was like that conversation that I had with him was like sort of the beginning of everything in a way. And he introduced me to a guy named Walter who I had met. And Walter actually had been working at a, at a salon for a number of years and ended up just quitting the salon, getting a day job and doing people out of his apartment. All, what he wanted to do was always do a barber shop. So when I sat down and said what we were doing, it was almost like, boom, I have a, a, another partner. A mutual friend of my girlfriend's contacted me like three weeks before we opened. We had already been working on this spot for a couple of weeks and said that there was this barber coming to town and his name was Drew and he wanted to see like when he got to town if I would meet with him. And he sat on it for a day and called me and just said, you know, I'll get cards. I'll just like paper the street with cards. I'll go meet people and try and build a clientele and if I have to sit around for six months not busy then then um, I will. As it worked out from the day we opened um, till like, it's been two months, every one of us has been like extremely busy so I wanted it to sound like two men's names, like two barbers names sort of thing and have it sort of a campy cottagey sort of feel so I was playing with the I was playing with the word gun and hunter it's sort of a, just a little play on words hunter and his gun sort of sort of but also sounds like two men's names so as long as it was in good taste and didn't offend anyone, I said like sort of bring in anything that you sort of like and think is quirky and want to want to throw up. So you can see there's everything from Burt Reynolds on that on that uh, wall to like a priest preaching to two old ladies. So this wall here is all local artists. So there's five of them right now, and basically this wall is always going to be like local artists. We are donating a dollar from every. Um, service and product to local charities. First charity we're working with is the Ladybug Foundation. So every year, forever and ever and ever, we're going to have a running total of things that we're doing. We all have to volunteer for four hours minimum per month. So anyone who works here um, has to do a uh, commitment of volunteer work. Some people are like, you know, like, oh, you know, I don't know if, you know, if they're thinking, I don't know if I can do that. And then if someone says to me, that sounds amazing, I want to get involved with that, boom, that's like someone that immediately I want to hire. We're going to be throwing parties and they're called the Guinness Book of World of Great Record Parties because in honor of us playing records here. And basically it's just going to be a record dance party that um, tickets are going to be sold and all the donations will be going to local charities as well. I'm hoping that people get inspired by it, other businesses get inspired by it and see like a new business making that commitment and sort of jump on board and do their own thing. And the thinking is if the charity is making money, that's sort of how what means we're making money.